Hey, this is Cameron, and welcome to the practice log. We have a lot to do today, as usual, so let's go ahead and jump into it. It's been a pretty big day. Did a lot in the morning, I'd say. Learned one new measure, that was pretty good. <laughs> My motivation right now, I'm feeling like a 5 out of 10. Like, I'm not like, ecstatic to like, get into it, but I am like, you know, we're here. So I'm just gonna do my best. We're gonna see what happens. I'm gonna get excited about it, because that's what I do. Get excited. Are you excited? Yeah, all right. Let's, let's do it. Man, it's always the night ones. It's always, I'm never like, I'm always ready for a morning session. I don't think it's because it's Bach. Like, because this stuff is, like, technically more fun, right? I don't know. I, I kind of just want to go to bed. I kind of just want to watch anime and go to bed. That's really what I want to do. But I'm going to practice. So, that's what we're doing. And that's the life we chose for ourselves. You know? You can never take it back. This is it. We're in it. Let's do it. I'm being dramatic. I actually, I kind of want to start learning a new piece today. I have a Barrios in mind. I will reveal it when I reveal it. It should be today. Um, but I will start with the morale today. And I'm going to focus mainly on movement three. Um, because that would be good. To get that down, that would be sick. I guess we can, uh, just jump right into this one. We don't have to dilly-dally too much. So, let's jump right into it. Alright. Wow, my hair is getting long. I'll see you on the other side. I'm doing morale, by the way. See you on the other side. My mouth is dry, and I think I'm about ready to play for you the first section of the third movement of the Morel Sonatina. That's the first time I've ever said Sonatina. Also, my wrist hurts, which is a little concerning. I might be holding it at too much of an angle. Uh, that's something I need to fix. Okay, well, I'm gonna show it to you now. Are you ready? This is movement three of the Morel Sonatina. It's a lot slower here. And that's the first section. All right, what'd you think of that? Not bad. I mean, a lot of that was new. Like, you could tell it was new, right? Um, I spent a lot of time on that first part. That's why I was able to play it a lot faster. So I'll just spend that much time on the second part. And then it'll all be that fast. And that's, um, and then we have another section, and then I think another section, and then another section. And then this one's done after that. So we're like, we're basically done. Movement three done, guys. Let's take a little bit of a break and uh, do something else. Guitarist David Russell in conversation. So he's going to be talking like with his voice. He's in conversation about concentration and distraction. That is something that Julian Bream mentioned to Gerald. If you remember that, he was like, do you find that you just lose your concentration just for a moment? That's my Julian Bream accent. And then Gerald has no choice but to say yes, because Julian Bream is, like, point-blank asking, like, Gerald, did you know that you were a doofus? So, we're gonna learn how to not be a Gerald here. Can you talk a little bit about maintaining concentration in a concert? I suppose to concentrate, first of all, um, you have to apply it in your whole life. That is, if you have short concentration span in your general life, you're not gonna suddenly be able to have good concentration spanning there we go this applies to everyone everything you do you must do with 
absolute concentration. Don't let your mind go. You know, be completely in the zone. Or, you, you understand what I mean? Yes, yes. It's, it's something... <laughs> you understand. You're paying attention, right? Nowadays is not valued in the way it used to be. I mean, even... Oh, is this going to be like... See some kids these days? Kids these days can't focus on their fugue. What is wrong with them? Video clips. I mean, if, a, if one clip is more than two seconds long, it's like, oh, come on, change it. <laughs> is that an attack on me, David Russell? Mine are longer than two seconds, I'll tell you that. People have a longer attention span than that. I don't think you're giving everyone enough credit. That's not fair. It's really weird, but it's, the things are given us like, like this. So our concentration is broken up in a different way what was necessary, say, in the times. <laughs> Even just Beethoven time. Forget about, you know, um, Roman theater or Greek theater where everyone would stand for three hours listening to stuff, you know? People have always been unfocused and out to lunch. That is not new. P people are smarter than ever. I, I don't know what you're talking about. I didn't realize this was going to be some, like, boomer thing. Okay. I mean, let's hear them out. The children are even taught keep it changing rather than the old way was to kind of stay, or stay here for longer. The other thing is you can find out your own kind of concentration span in your practice. You know, usually, let's say, you say, okay, now I'm going to be playing this piece. And there you go. It's <laughs> just, it's really funny to me that he went for that one. You're practicing it. Oh, you flubbed a note, David Russell. What was that? Got to pay attention better. What are you doing? The moment he starts to go away, you start to think about breakfast. <laughs> you got to get back. <laughs> See, I don't know what he was trying to say with that. With, like, I'm playing this Via Lobos right now, and I'm completely focused. It's like, kind of. I mean, you did speak, like, halfway through. I don't know how focused you really were. And your mind's going, ah, that person didn't move. That person, that... Two people didn't clap in the last piece. You know, <laughs> your mind does ridiculous things. Right. So, you just learn to keep on coming back. Now, what are you going to come back to? I don't know what he's on about. This is kind of weird. I'm still going to show it. Whatever. It's David Russell. He's the man. Continue with the E. I already have seen. I think, did he just miss a note in there? He missed a note! Oh man, he wasn't even thinking of the A, whatever. The chords. Alright, so if you know your piece really well, just see the next piece, the next bits. You know this? Well, yeah, of course. Think ahead when you're playing a piece. I mean, try to. When people say, like, our attention span is bad, like, nowadays, why? Like, we're... I don't know, it's hard for me to articulate it. I guess I... Maybe that's like a bad sign, but I'm also not like humanity's brightest. Like, it's not fair. That's not on me to defend our generation, uh, whatever my generation is. I'm pretty sure that like humans have always been the same. Um, we've always been just as distracted. Like, it, it feels good to be distracted. Like, we, we don't like having to do more work than we have to. Your parents and your parents' parents, they all liked being lazy. To say that we're, like, being trained to be distracted now. I think, if anything, we're being trained to, like, take in more stimulus, maybe. It, it's the very nature of stimulus that you become, like, desensitized to it, so does it even make a difference, like, if you have more or less stimulus? Like, you just kind of get used to your environment. And, like, it, it might seem crazy to him, me watching my two-second videos, but me, I'm used to it, and I'm still able to, like, focus and do stuff. I can play Via Lobos Prelude 1. I can think about it, and I won't miss the A, either. I'm, like, talking crap on David Russell. Yeah, I'm the man. This is my show. I can say what I want. This is what the discomfort in concert... You got any tips you're... for nerves? This is it. This is it. <laughs> you're gonna fight regardless of what happens. You're gonna keep going. Very slow. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh! Kids these days, they can't even hit the E. He didn't even have a chance to miss the A. He didn't even get to the E. Bro, what are you... What? What's going on here, man? Okay. <laughs> because... You know, anything can happen. Like, I think there's something wrong with your guitar. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. it, doesn't, it doesn't know that piece. <laughs> you can do it with a friend. I mean, that was a little exaggerated, if you like. But just somebody just kind of like prod somewhere. So, okay, I'll do it. And you just, you just press around, right? <laughs> Thank you. 
This is the exercise. You have to have a friend for it. You can mess up with it. You can <laughs> you want me to get rid of the okay. <laughs> Where's your note? Where's your note? It forces you to, it forces you to aim at the next note or go for the next note. None of that's going to make your concentration any better, but it'll be fun trying anyway. So that was kind of interesting. Kind of a fun conversation. And nested in it was this weird, like, old people narrative that, like, kids these days, which is like, whatever. Like, yeah, kids these days. But also, like, no. Like, that's all just stupid at least i think so so i I think uh, it's probably about time to get back to the to the old piano bench so i will go ahead and do that now i'll see you there okay oh i'm so tired i have to figure out what i'm gonna work on now i could start working on that new piece i could work on the first movement of the morel i need to work on my sore mozart variations too i haven't done that today oh my god i have so much stuff to do uh I spent a long time on that third movement. (laughs) I I used a lot of brain power on that. Uh, And that's really hard for me because I only have so much. Would it be so wrong if I called it here? Would it be so wrong? Oh, there's so much music to learn. Well, you know what? How about this? I'm not, I'm done practicing today. I'm done. But I am going to show you something. So I guess what I'm doing, I'm just going to show you the stuff that I actually want to work on. So I have my barrios here. I want to start working on this piece. Serenita... Morisica. I'm Hispanic, and that's how I said that. It's in drop D. Here's me reading it for the very first time. I've never... I've only listened to it. Yeah, I'm not counting. Oop, B flat. Oh, I'm stupid. Harmonic. Have natural. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. Don't miss that B flat. I have no idea. Yeah, all right, whatever. Pretty cool one. It's uh, it's kind of long, but it's it's not very hard though. Like it's pretty straightforward. It looks harder than it is, I'm sure. I also have some Ponce that I want to learn. I have four sonatas by Ponce. Um, and I believe it's this one. I started kind of learning this one. Man, that's a bad skin. I do want to get into this at some point. Can I even play any of it? It's in the same key as the last one. Wait, what? Uh, ooh. And then, oh no, I can't. I'm so, I'm so bad. There we go. Oh. Oh. Yeah, you, you know the one. I think that'd be cool. That's a whole other sonata, though. I'm gonna learn the morel first. How many drop D sonatas can one man learn at one time? Who knows? I have the grand sonata. I do want to learn that. That'd be pretty epic. I haven't looked much into this one. It is on the it is on the docket, though. I do want to learn this. I'm kind of tired. I kind of just want to go to bed, so I, I might just give up for the night. And this is just a single practice session plus a David Russell segment. I guess I'll walk around with you. If you enjoyed this one, Be sure to like, subscribe, comment, you know, uh, leave a comment. Those are always fun. If you like subscribed and you're nervous about commenting, make yourself known. I like seeing the new people. All right. I think that pretty much covers it. So I'm going to go like to bed. See you tomorrow.